back to my channel. I'm Jen. This is just Jen's things. These are the things that make me smile. We are in my loft today and today's video is another spill the tea episode and we're going to be diving into how many mists or you know body sprays I've actually purchased this year alone. <music> jump into things real quick. I'm Jen. I am a full-time caregiver for my mom and I'm kind of obsessed with shopping and body care items. So if you love to dive deep into kind of, you know, videos that talk about shopping addiction, but also you don't mind some light shopping hauls as well, then keep on watching. If you're new, please go ahead and hit subscribe, ring the notification bell, and let's get started, guys. Let's jump on into today's Spill the Tea. Watching a lot of overconsumption videos. I've been watching a lot of shopping addiction videos. And I have been watching a lot, a lot of commentary videos. One of those reasons why is to change my mindset, I need to change the content that I absorb personally, at least to kind of quell my shopping addiction a little bit. I would say a week or two weeks ago, I had gone ahead and I had changed and shifted a little bit of my own, you know, mindset by posting in my community tab all the different sales that I passed on. And that was such a great tip for me personally to be able to see and to log that these were my triggers. These were the sales that I was really interested in but I did the smart thing and I passed over them. Able to acknowledge and to see those things allowed me to kind of feel like I was gaining back some of the control that I needed on where I'm going with shopping, with my hygiene and like body care collection, my fragrance collection, and it really helped. It helped pull back that sense of fear of missing out, that I love how Kat uh, called it the, the fear of like finishing up or, you know, like emptying out a product and then no longer having it. It's helped to restructure a little bit of my brain, which is definitely needed for when I get into everything that is beside me, because it is quite a bit, guys. I want to point something out. We live in a wonderful house that has amazing storage. When we moved into this house to take care of my mom, I never expected to go out and to buy another, you know, bookshelf or something for more storage for the collection. So when we did that, I mean, it, it's just a really cheap Walmart bookcase, guys. It was cheap. It was like $30 or something, 32, I think. So it was really inexpensive. But when we did that, I noticed in my brain that one of my first thoughts was, okay, now I can go ahead and fill it up. You know, my original thought was I was gonna take everything from the archive and just put the archive right here, leave my body care in, you know, our master bathroom with, you know, all the shelves that are in there. What I ended up doing was putting my body care collection here. You guys know currently the, the archive is still in the basement. And then I took, um, all of the like shower products and things like that and scrubs and actually just put them in the shelves in the vanity, which made it so much easier to kind of see it spaced out a little bit and to be able to count and see what we actually have body wash collection wise for me and the kids. So that helped. I think it's also going to help the longevity of my body creams and my lotions from not being in the heat of the bathroom area um, with the ventilation, you know, like the shower and, you know, all the steam and stuff. So I think it's gonna help some with that. What I have decided, um, you guys know, and I talked about this in a couple of videos and a lot of people voted, which I was so shocked and so thankful for. The archive, the biggest response to that was just get rid of the archive. So guys, that is what I am doing. 
I am going to declutter and throw away the body creams that are well past, I, I feel, usage for anyone. But the rest of it, I am going to be doing a giveaway. So I am gonna be boxing those up and I think it'll probably go in one or two boxes of those items and you guys will have the chance to go ahead and to, to get them. If you guys are interested, then you know we'll do that. Um, I'm gonna post the video um, with the actual more kind of, you know, announcement type thing. I'm gonna post that next week. Today is Sunday. I'm gonna post it next week. And then we're gonna draw the winner on my one year anniversary, which happens to be August 7th, and it will ship out after that. So it is gonna be only for you know residents in the continental United States because I'm shipping this myself. And there's also gonna be items that I declutter that are unopened that maybe I have gotten several pieces from and I realize I don't need like three of these. I don't need four of these. So it's gonna include things like that. You guys will have some video clips of what I'm putting in the boxes and I'm hopeful to do two winners but that video will go next week. Well, you where you will see everything that's in the boxes and then we'll actually do like a live drawing winner on my anniversary date, which is August 7th. So I'm excited for that. The next thing I kind of want to talk about is I am so excited to announce that I just made it guys today and I was so excited. I've been invited to apply for the YouTube Partnership Program, which means I can be modernized. So I am so thrilled and I couldn't have done it without you guys. Um, I have not officially applied yet. We're gonna go ahead and go over a couple of things like tonight and this week, and then I'll be able to apply for that. So I never thought that I would meet that goal of mine before the first year of my YouTube channel. So I'm really, really thrilled, thrilled about that. Um, I, I also am thinking about adding a gift card into the giveaway. It's gonna be a small gift card, but I think I'll add a gift card to the giveaway as well. Anyway, guys, let's jump into thoughts on my shopping addiction that I am noticing when I pulled everything that I was gonna pull for today's video how many body mists I actually purchased this year. It is way more than I actually thought that it would be. Um, I have to kind of sit back and think to myself and reevaluate then what I'm gonna be putting and, and actually purchasing for the fall and for the winter as well. And I need to be really smart about my purchases. Let's jump in. So as you guys know, I purchased three Victoria Secret Mists this year. These were the only three that I did from Victoria Secret. I got this one at the semi their semi-annual sale. So I did purchase that one. And then I got the Apple Rush and Very Vanilla because I wanted some like fall kind of gourmand scents. So three from Victoria Secret. I have blueberry bunt cake, as you guys know. I'm gonna have to rearrange these, but we're just gonna go through them. I did get a warm vanilla sugar this year, an ice lemon pound cake, gingham glow was this year, wild Madagascar vanilla. I got three of those, I believe. Pumpkin swirl cake, another blueberry bunt cake, Pink Paradise. Do you guys remember these coming out and how excited we were? And me realizing the dents on some of these are so little. Um, Vacation Vibe, I got that. Apple, I got this year. I've actually been using this quite a bit. It's been sitting on my dresser. So what I did is I put three sets on my dresser. The rest of my collection is right here. And then I keep the ingredient lead and aromatherapy in my bathroom because that's what I reach for the most after my shower. So just some little tidbits there. Solar Shine, we're still going guys. I'm pretty sure I got the Tutti Frutti candy as a freebie this year. Dressed in white, which was lovely. Guys, I thought for sure I was gonna wear this more. The Brightest Bloom in the Diamond Shimmer Mist. 
The ingredient lead for rain, musk, and coconut. And we're not even done. We're still going. Another mini for Iceland pound cake, which I keep in my purse and I've been using a lot. I don't remember. Peach Bellini, did this come out, guys, like January or February? I think it did. But I can't tell. I think it did. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think the peach bellini, if it was in January or not, but I think that it was. Then we had Sweetheart Cherry. I'm gonna have to reorganize all of this. I got the Bahamas and I realized when I finally went through my collection, I have the older Bahamas and the newer Bahamas too. Tahiti Island Dream, which is really good. And I'm still going, I have so many left. Thailand, you guys, I'm like already out of room here. Tropidilic, lemon, this is the fresh and wolfy lemon that came out. Love always wins, this is my backup because I used an entire bottle of this when it came out. Now, water, water lily springs. This one came out since January, right? Remind me if I'm wrong, if this was 23 or if this was in January of 24. Okay, I'm still going guys. Brightest Bloom. Meet Me in Miami, was this December of 23 or January? Meet Me in Miami. This year, Rob went ahead and picked out this year's Firecracker Pop. Calypso Clementine, I'm still going guys. Bridgerton, the diamond of the season, which I actually, I love that one. Whipped coconut and uh, what is this? Whipped coconut milkshake. We're still going. I got two more bottles of wild Madagascar vanilla. And then guys, the watermelon. And that was all of the new scents that I'm pretty sure have come out. I think in one form or another, I have almost everything. I didn't get the lavender that goes with like the, the apple packaging. I didn't get the lavender. I didn't get that musk. But as far as all the scents that have come out, I think I pretty much got everything. That makes me sit back and realize how much of our shopping when it comes to Bath and Body Works, the scents that we purchase, how much of our brain tells us that because this came out you know a few weeks ago it's no longer new i would love to know your thoughts and your comments down below of how long does it take before you no longer feel like the item that you may have purchased a week two three four weeks ago is new do you only use it during that time that is before the next release how long do you keep using it um, that is a question that I feel I need to really concentrate on myself and I need to ask myself and I need to really focus on as you guys saw I recently went ahead and I put a couple of items in the archive that I felt like the consistency was changing when it came to body creams one of them was last year's Halloween scent the enchanted something yeah and I put the body cream in because when I shook the body cream it was so much water in there it sounded like so I know that the consistency changed but doing that made me sit back and realize and think to myself, okay, I know that Halloween is going to be dropping. I think it's like possibly tomorrow or the next week. And then all the, the Halloween items are going to be dropping. So I had to sit back and I had to think to myself, what is on my wish list so far? Well, I want the candy apple cauldron and I want ghoul friend because I've never had those and I never had the candles. Um, the candy apple cauldron is a brand new, you know, like fragrance. So I was pretty sure that, you know, okay, well, I want a, a body wash. I want a body lotion and I want a fragrance mist, but I had to sit back and I had to think to myself, how much of the Halloween scents did I use last year? I bought the enchanted something 
All right, I bought I bought one of the Halloween scents, guys. I don't know, it's it's somewhere around here. I bought one of the Halloween scents last year, and to be quite honest with you, I think I only used that Halloween scent for maybe two weeks in October, and that was it. So that goes ahead and makes me rethink my wish list that I have currently for Halloween and for fall. Now my fall items, I use those like throughout the fall season. Um, for me, fall, you know, the transition to fall happens in August. You really start ramping up more towards the end of September. But in August and September, I'm wearing like my favorite transition scents. So for me, that is going to be when I really focus more on Gingham Glow, the Wild Madagascar Vanilla, um, you know, like the Gingham Gold or Gingham Heart of Gold. I'm going to be wearing that. Um, that's when I'm going to be wearing my transition scents for those things. And Golden Sunflower, which my goal is to go through an entire bottle of Golden Sunflower because I have like five of them, guys. That makes me realize, though, when it comes to my entire collection, everything from, you know, my candles to the hand soaps, everything, I need to get to the point to where I am using up seasonally what I, I'm purchasing. Because at this point, I'm, I'm purchasing so many that I'm not even coming close to denting, all that, honestly. I'm just, I'm not even close to denting some of this stuff. And you guys know, in a lot of my spill teas, I've talked about the fact that I tend to purchase more with the spring and the summer. I feel like there's so many releases at that time. And then usually by fall and winter, our funds are going towards, you know, like school supplies and oh my gosh, like everything else under the sun, guys. And then Christmas presents. And that's when my shopping, you know, kind of slows down more. That's just how I, I've always been. When I think and I look back at how many items I have purchased in six months, from January towards, you know, the middle of July, like we're in right now. It does make you sit back. This isn't even counting the things that I bought for the kids. It makes me sit back. It makes me reevaluate and reevaluate some things. I have been watching a lot of um, overconsumption, like perfume videos, kind of calling out the fragrance community in general in some um, more like high-end perfumes and, and purchasing all of those, things like that on TikTok. Guys, a long time ago, I took TikTok off of my phone. So I no longer had TikTok before they even did the TikTok shop type stuff. And I stopped focusing on TikTok. As a creator, you know, maybe I could do more if I was on TikTok. But as, you know, someone that's trying to get healthy with my consuming, basically, I realized that if I was on TikTok, I would be purchasing probably way, way more than what I already do just naturally on my own. Whenever I do get I, where I feel like my shopping is really out of hand, I have to remind myself, just take that stuff off my phone. So I did. Um, I used to, years and years ago, guys, have so much of an addiction to Ulta that it got dangerous. I'm going to be completely honest, it was bad. I had to completely take the app off my phone, not go on the app and not consume anything related to kind of like cosmetics. Now, this year I have purchased some items. I think I have purchased maybe $200, I think, total, if I think about it. I think I'm almost at $200 in purchases to Ulta this year, but that was split between like my teenagers and me as well. But still, that feels like a lot to me, especially when a couple of years ago, guys, just a couple of years ago, I was like diamond status, the highest tier, the highest level for their rewards program. And watching these consumption videos and, you know, some of the really personal stories that people are talking about and sharing, 
it has made me tempted to share a lot of my personal battle and some of like the mistakes and things that I've done financially, but those are also private. So I try to keep them as private as I can. Um, but I think overall, it is so apparent now to so many people that in 2024, you know, a lot of our shopping and our consumerism that we have currently was really fed by everything that happened in 2020. Um, I got so caught up in Ulta and shopping and, and credit card debt in 2020 when, um, when things were really bad, <laughs> just being honest. It seemed like people were being bombarded, guys, with credit card offers left and right, trying to boost the economy, trying to get everyone to shop more. And um, yeah, it became difficult for so many, 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 many people. As I sit back now and I notice, and you know, my collection growing, when I started my channel, guys, almost a year ago, on August 7th, it'll be a year, I had just like metal storage, like diamond triangle, you know, like shelves, corner shelves from like TJ Maxx. I had three or four of those that my collection sat on and each tiny, you know, like shelf was a season. And I felt like I had like a big collection then guys. And now I'm realizing I just went ahead and went and purchased a bookcase. And yes, granted, my collection is still still small compared to so many other creators' collections. So much of what I buy, like I do go ahead and I, I share or I buy with, you know, the thought of, am I going to go ahead and share more of this on the channel? I don't really do reviews. That's just not who I am. I feel honestly like I don't have the vocabulary that's needed to really, you know, like describe some of these amazing scents, guys. I buy what I like. I happen to like Bath and Body Works, but I do have to remind myself. Oh yeah, and all this new that I just shared with you, still, I got like 10 more of the Everyday's Luxuries collection up there too. I mean, it was a lot. I haven't even counted them. Uh, if you counted during this video, leave me a comment and tell me how many I ended up buying this year, guys, because I haven't even counted them. Anywho, um, it makes me sit back and it makes me realize that one, this community is absolutely amazing. We have so many supportive, supportive people in the community that are non-judgmental, that, you know, are so uplifting. There are so many friends that I have made, so many people that have made me feel incredible even when I feel down on myself in this community and there's so many people that you know what we just love the brand we love the brand we love the products we love collecting it we love using it and I know that I can find a happy medium between what I purchase and what I use and I hope that you'll continue to stick around as this next year you know, kind of for my channel continues to grow. And I want to remind you guys that the, the best way to support my channel is for free. And that's just to subscribe and watch the commercials. And I would appreciate that as we slowly, you know, like this week kind of get a handle on applying. Um, but I was so surprised and so shocked. And I just want to thank you guys. Um, all of the money that eventually might be coming in it's just going to be going back into the channel. So back into more giveaways and things for you. And I appreciate it, you guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. Please hit subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, friends. Don't move too fast, honey. For pictures. Not me again.